First off, I want to thank God, thank everybody who came out to support uh, all the media. You know, uh, it was a great fight, a very good, tough one. Something I needed, you know, uh, face adversity. Um, you know, just uh, I'm 15, and, oh, I was 15 and 0. Uh, you know, a lot of these younger guys like me ain't fighting the guys that, that, that we're fighting, like, like a Rosado. So hats off to Rosado and his team. Definitely put on a good performance. Um, it definitely be a bigger learning, big learning experience for me. So I just want to thank God for the victory and thank my team. Mayweather Promotions, Al Heyman, Leonard Ellerby, Golden Boy, uh, Showtime, and it was a great one. Any questions? Yes, sir. Uh, congratulations, first of all. <clears throat> thank you. Were you surprised at the decision being what it was? Uh, and that, you know, at any point, did you have any doubt in your mind that that was going to be the outcome? I mean, I knew it was a close fight. You know, it was a very close fight. We were both putting in some good rounds, but at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not a judge. I'm just a fighter. You know what I mean? I, at the end of the, when it when it comes to the end of the fight, it's in their hands, not mine. You know, so. It, you know, it, it, the outcome is what it is. Kill him. Bring him to your left. Bring him back. I understand it was really tough losing that last pound and a half. Not that you should lose. Yeah. Did, did that affect you because in the beginning of the fight you looked kind of dry? Um, I mean, we didn't warm up to our, you know, like we would like, like, but I mean, you know, no excuses. We, you know, I, I performed the way I did. The last pound, you know, I've never had weight problems. You know, uh, I had a lot of stuff going on this camp, but at the end of the day, no excuses. You know, uh, a fight is a fight. I have time to prepare for it and things like, like any other fighter. So, uh, you know, we should have had to wait down, but, you know, we suffered the consequences by having to go lose it later. We didn't want to, but we did what we had to do. Good job, Ken. Leo, I'd like to ask uh, first, uh, Gabriel Rosado up here as well, he fought a hell of a fight, great fight, and uh, it's one of those fights, you know, when you, you can't really say he lost, I mean, it's just a great fight, and uh, there was certainly no loser in that fight. Gabriel. Yeah, first and foremost, I just want to thank God for the opportunity I had today. Um, you know, uh, congratulations to Jay Love, um, even though I think at the end of the day, we all know who really won this fight. Um, the fans spoke, everybody on Twitter, you know, the commentators had me winning. But um, it is what it is, man. My, my road to the, um, as a professional, hasn't been easy. But, um, you know, I think today was clearly like a disgrace in boxing. You know, I definitely should have walked out with that title today, but it is what it is. Any questions? Hey, look, I'm a true fighter, man. I'm a true Philly fighter. And it doesn't matter to me whether it's 54 or 60. That's why I come up at, and wait, because I just want to fight. If I could make 47, I would drop the 47. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, I just want to rumble. Um, the dudes at 60 are a little bit bigger than me, but that don't mean nothing to me. You know, I, I stood in the pocket. I think I fought a smart, crafty fight. I was doing veteran moves. And, um, you know, I think, I think, you know, uh, I did what I had to do to pull, the, pull out the victory. You know, and the fans, you know, they spoke, and you know, they cheered for me, and it is what it is. Gabriel, the fight was on the table on two scorecards in the 10th round. Do you think that you did enough in the 10th round? To win? Yeah, I believe I won those rounds. I had them hurt in those rounds. You know, I had a 10-8 round, and a judge who he should like lose his job had the fight scored 97-92. That's like, that's crazy. How you, how you scoring a fight 97-92 when I get a knockdown? And I obviously had him hurt in different rounds. Um, what I did, what, the way I fought the fight was a smart, crafty fight. I was in the pocket catching punches, throwing short shots, things that a lot of people forgot about. You know, and I felt like I just fought a smart fight, man. But at the end of the day, the fans is holding me down. They show me a lot of love, and you know, that gives me motivation to keep it moving. Obviously, you had him down. Did you feel that Jay Leon showed you uh, power? Did you feel his power Honestly, I was never hurt in the fight. I was never hurt in the fight. I was gained. I was. I bit down on my mouthpiece. I knew it was on the line, and you know, I put it all. I put it all out there, man. And 
You know, I really truly felt like I won the fight. Gabe, right here. Uh, if there was anything you could do different or do a little bit better in the fight, is looking back at it, is there anything you would do a little different in the fight? Or do you think everything just went according to I it? felt like, you know what I'm saying, what, what, what else could I do? Knock him out five times? I wish I could have did that. You know what I'm saying? But I probably would have still lost by a point. But, you know what I mean? You know, look, good thing that this fight was on a stage like this, where the world saw it. You know, if this would have happened in the Blue Horizon in Philadelphia, nobody would have believed me. But, you know, it happened on the world stage, on pay-per-view, millions watching. So, at the end of the day, the fans know who won. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and I'm gonna just take it at that, man. So I'm just, I'm happy that it was able to be televised on such a big event. Thank you. I was talking before about stealing the show. Uh, certainly, Leo Santa.